If we stand up to the bullies, this is the response. You don't have the right to stand up for yourself. That is their attitude. If you criticise the book, they say you're winding them up. There are legitimate criticisms of Islam. I'm not part of you, okay? So put the camera off my phone. No, no, this is Speaker's Corner. This is what we have to put in. They believe that they can dominate. Do you all remember when I said, can I respond? you can't stop being What did he say? No! That's what he said. So who's the fascist? We know what it meant to be dominated by Islam. And we don't need to be lectured by apologists and ignorant soy boy liberals. <laughs>
you make it easier to take the next bit of freedom of speech away. Quite recently, a group of idiots, a horrible group of people, burnt an effigy of the tower, the Grenfell Tower, and then broadcast that. Shame! It was shameful. Shame. It was a, a horrible act, a disgusting act, and they should be verbally condemned. They should be verbally embarrassed. They should be questioned and made to defend their inappropriate behavior so that through the pressure of public debate, they educate their soul to be better. But that act should not be treated as a crime. They have been arrested. It is ridiculous that in a free society, we are arresting people solely for being offensive. This is stupid. If you can't offend someone, you don't have free speech. I'm offended every time I hear the Muslims here at Speaker's Corner abuse my Bible and my Lord. But I wouldn't want them arrested for it. I have been insulted. People have called me all kinds of names. I could be a soy boy with the skin of tissue paper, but I'm not. But increasingly, we live in a society where it is presumed that you have the right not to be offended. If you agree to that transaction, then you agree to have your speech censored, your speech curated, and then who becomes the curator of the speech? It's not going to be you, it's going to be those in power, which means that they will tell you what you can say and what you can't say. Is that why we remembered all those soldiers from World War I? Is that why we remembered all those soldiers from World War II? I thought they died to give us a free society. And yet the police, those pen-pushing, pension-collecting, political puppets are simply in cahoots with the establishment policing laws about hate speech whilst ignoring laws about carrying a knife. And so, lives of young children, and most of those children are black youths, are dying, are dying, while our establishment direct the police to govern your Twitter account, rather than govern the council estates where gangs are killing gangs because the liberal state in its social policy fail to strengthen the family and youths are finding identity in gangs rather than in strong families. If you abandon the family, you hand your children over to the forces of evil, to the forces of commercialism, to the forces of gang culture which is simply an expression of the failure of a middle-class worldview for those people that don't have the resources to live it. We have to return to the Christian value of the family as defined by the church and have that supported by the state. We have to push back against these liberal politicians who want to order a society that benefits them as an internationalist class. You're all their peasants and until you root yourself in an identity older, more sagely, more virtuous, more hopeful, 
more guided by love and honour and dignity and self-discipline as found in Christ and the teaching of the church, you will never ever be able to do or to think or to believe or to act in a way that can bring about the change that we so desperately need in the West. Any other questions before I move on? Nobody's going to ask you any questions. Brother, I take that as a high compliment. This guy heckles me every week. Yeah. No, but you're talking sense. I'm always when you, talking uh, sense. No, no, not all the time. When, when you talk sense, I have to say, yeah, you're talking sense. I am talking so why sense. Would I Even when I criticise the failure of Islam. Uh, there we go. It didn't take him long to bring Islam. No, what you're talking is good. Talk like that. So don't no, bring no, Islam. No, no, no. Any other questions? Why not? Let's talk about it. Let's talk okay. about it. Okay, this guy. You, you realize the difference between the difference between the state and the church. Yes. The state and the church they cannot work together. Is that the question? No, no. This is. Uh, What's the question? The, um, my, my, my question to you was: Do you realize the difference okay. between yes. between the? the yeah. Church? Okay. So the cameraman's just going to change the back. Yeah. Right. Sharing a bottle, guys, is just a kiss without the love. So, so the question that was asked was, do I recognize the difference between the church and the state? And the answer is, of course I do, because it was the church that defined the difference. If you knew your history, you would know that the church established a wall between the power secularis and the powers religionis. The power secular and the powers religious and those two institutions the Christian church ideally has a narrative by which they should both work which is the state should work to bring about those best conditions that establish justice peace and concord in society defend the church and advance the gospel and the church should bring about those conditions in the heart of man by which man is a disciple of Christ a follower of him in his family and in his community and these two powers work together in symposium they work in harmony in symphony where the state, in matters of doctrine and morality, bows to the church. And in matters of social organization, the church bows to the state. The idea that the state should ever be or ever work in a way contrary to the Christian faith is an anathema to Christian political thought. Christian political thought is that Christians always work to establish those conditions by which the next generation of Christians have an easier fight of it than the generation before. So the institutions are separate, they are not the same, but within a Christian worldview, ideally, they work to the same end, the kingdom of God. Question. I have a question. You know, um, the European state of law, the European laws that we have nowadays, the Western laws, have been based off the Roman Empire. Uh, and they have started, you know, the laws of the Roman Empire has started before Christianity even began existing. You know, obviously the, Ro the Eastern Roman Empire eventually converted to Christianity with Constantine the Great. Uh, because, you know, there were just too many Christians in the empire at that point. He couldn't remain pagan. But what you're saying is kind of preposterous, honestly. You can't say that Christianity uh, made the laws. They were lost before the Christians. They were lost after the Christians. They will be lost after the Christians. There are different What's kinds of laws. What's your question? My, We're taking it's questions not a question. Not, okay. I'm, I'm telling that, you're, point, Rafael, that what you're saying is preposterous. Okay, right, because right. you can't say that Christians created laws. Okay, so the guy is saying... The guy is saying Christians did not create laws. 
He is a poor student of history. A poor student of history. Because he is right. The Christian church eventually converted the Roman Empire at the time of Constantine. There was no which Christian incidentally, church at that point. Which incidentally was both West and Eastern. So historically you're off. No. No, you're off. No. So Constantine converted. And at that point, a Christian was the emperor of Rome. So when he passed laws in his office as emperor, he was doing so as a Christian. So when he made it illegal or created legal parity between killing a slave and killing a free man, he did that because his conscience was being formed by his faith. By the time you get to Theodosius, nearly a century later, who banned the Roman circus, banned the gladiatorial games, he did that because his conscience was formed by his Christian faith. When you had bishops like Theodosius proscrutio prostrate themselves I'm sorry, sister. before the bishop because he had massacred the, the people charity. of Thessalonica. It was the church humbling the state power and setting the limit upon its conditions. When Isubius wrote the history of Constantine. He did it to define what a good Christian emperor should do. And so it set up a paradigm by which Christian emperors pass laws in accordance with their faith as they understand it. And so when a Christian in a political office allows their political doctrine to be informed by their Christian faith, the church is making laws because the church is the people, not simply the institution. You neither know your history nor how the Christian faith works. Any other questions? Yes. No, I have the same no, back question to once again. No, back because to there him. are other civilizations. Don't be rude. With, no, back you are being him. rude because you are jumping over the question. Back to you him. Didn't answer the question. Can we agree? Friend. Can we agree you that? You did not answer the question. Just keep talking. Can you? Yeah, just keep Excuse talking. Me, I'll talk you're louder. being rude to him. No, no, you didn't answer my question. Was he rude to you? Answer my question. Was he rude to you? There were there were other civilizations. Okay, other laws. Just ignore. Other laws. The Christians were not the first to be created. Stop being rude. Stop. He is your elder. Learn some so moral. You didn't answer so what? This is liberalism. This is liberal atheism. He does I'm not sorry, respect his no elders. No this is liberal no atheism. I'm not liberal. This is you. What are you? What are you? you what are you? Are you? He is right your elder. Show him some respect. I don't want to talk to you. Elder, go on. Of course, go on. You didn't answer my question. I want to listen to you. You're being rude to your elder. Go ahead. Don't answer any questions. Don't answer questions. Can we agree? Questions are bad. Can we agree that the state is the employer and the church is to ensure moral in society? Okay. So the question is do we agree that the church is the employer? No, not uh, the church is the employer. Sorry, the state is yes, the sir. employer yes. and the church is the conscience of morality. Now, by employer, if we understand the state as being that nexus of organization by which all resources within society are governed, if we mean this by employer, then yes, we can understand it that way. Except that within a Christian worldview, the state does not have absolute power and authority. Authority and power are decentralized to as local as they can be. And that starts with the family, because your family is the first economy. Your family is the first police force. Your family is your first health service. 
your first social service, your first elderly care, your first civil service, your first school service. That is why we need strong families. The church must define for us what we understand by family, what we understand by good praxis, by good way of living, by what values we live by. And the church does this by reflecting upon the prophetic and the apostolic teaching and deciding those disciplines appropriate to the age that it is in that best express those values from age to age. Which means that those disciplines can change. Those emphases can change to match the appropriate circumstances of our age and understanding. I'll give an example. In the Christian faith, Christians in the past used to think it okay to have sex with children who were 14 years, 12 years, around that age bracket. We did so because our understanding of human development and child development is not what it is today. But because we now understand more about child development and about human development, we know that it is an inappropriate age to have sex with children at 12 and above. By contrast, Islam, because it follows the example of Muhammad, says that the moment you're ready to bleed, you're ready to breed. So Aisha was ready to have sex with Muhammad because supposedly she was having menstruations at nine. She was not ready for that kind of sex. Now, Muslims, if they had our understanding of conscience and praxis, could abandon that practice as something in the past. But they can't because of the structure of their religion being connected to hadiths and those hadiths exemplifying a 7th century man as the perfect role model for all times, places and peoples, they are forced to defend that praxis today as appropriate. And we've seen the Dawah team do so regularly. And there's plenty of evidence on camera of Muslims defending sex with children. It doesn't mean all Muslims will, because thankfully, most Muslims have a conscience better than their books. The Christian faith does not have this problem, because as an institutional church, we have a corporate memory, a corporate teaching body, that goes from generation to generation identifying what disciplines are needed to practice the faith according to the best knowledge of the time. So, any other questions before we move on? How old was Mary when she gave birth? The question is how old was Mary when she gave birth to the Christ? The truth of the matter is we have no age evidence for Mary. A document written in the 4th century that talked about her being 12 when she was betrothed in marriage to Joseph but does not give an age when she gave birth to the Lord. Did at least to my knowledge. Wasn't she pregnant at the point of betrothal? No, because someone could be betrothed in those cultures years before they come together as a couple. How old is Joseph? We don't know, there's no age given. Just so we're clear, there is absolutely no ages given in the Christian faith for Joseph and Mary. It is understood that Joseph was older than Mary. That was normal in those times. 
as well. One second. Yeah, that was a tradition as well. One in second. the Prophet's time. Except that the Hadiths give an age. And they say that a 50 year old man had sex with a 9 year old child. Where's the Hadith? Where's that age proven? Uh, where's that age proven? I'm going to give you the proof now. So the question was, where's the Hadith? I'll give it to you. But then we're going to go on to someone else's question. Doesn't Islam adapt? In the same way as you say Christianity does, on the basis of not. Let me just deal harm. with their question first. Right. Are you all listening? He said, Where's the hadith? So I'm going to prove him that we Christians aren't making this up. And I would suggest to you that if your conscience disagrees with the example of Muhammad, then your conscience is telling you Muhammad is not the best example. And subsequently, Muhammad is not the best example for you, and that Islam is wrong because Islam says Muhammad is the best example. So he said, What hadith? I'll give you the hadith. Sahih al Bukhari 762 64, narrated by Aisha, that the Prophet married her when she was six years old and consummated his marriage when she was nine years old. Now that's supposed to be an example for today. Tell me, I want to ask you a question before I let other people ask a question. When you have a girl, and God willing you will, as a daughter, would you let that nine-year-old girl have sex with a 54-year-old in man? I don't know. He doesn't know. Now let me ask the rest of you. Now let me ask the rest of you, particularly those of you who have children already. Would you let your nine-year-old daughter have sex with a 54-year-old man? No. And that's the problem that these hadiths create. They numb the conscience. He doesn't know what's right from wrong because these hadiths blur what is right from what is wrong. But anyone listening to their God-given conscience knows that we know now children are too young. Incidentally, incidentally, in the fifth century, so two centuries before Islam, a Christian emperor had the gumption to know that sex with a 12 year old was too young and he raised it to 14 which is still too young because of what we know now but if in the 5th century they could recognize that 12 was too young what the hell was a man with a direct line to God not able to see that a 9 year old was too young Use your brains. Muhammad is not a prophet from God. He is no example for us today. And the effects of his example are clearly demonstrated. This poor young man, so beguiled by his religion, can't even stand in the 21st century with everything we know about children and say that sex with a nine-year-old is wrong. He doesn't know. That is the effect of Islam on the mind. We can do better than Sharia. And we can do better than liberalism. And that better is Christ our Lord and the disciplines that he gives us. So, any other questions before I move on? The Brexit dog breakfast. If you're not interested in Brexit, you'll probably walk away at this. I can't think of anything more boring myself. So the Brexit, my, my position on Brexit. I voted for Brexit. And I voted for Brexit because the international elites who are seeking to dominate Europe want to de-Christianize Europe and so for me 
the best way to defend the church is to tear down the EU. That monolith, that Wicked. deceitful Babylon that is in Brussels, that seeks to place itself upon all European peoples and produce itself like a great shepherd is nothing but a whore to the world and to the flesh. It is against our Christian heritage. It is against our Christian identity. And for that reason, I am against it. To be clear, if in some hypothetical world, the EU was seeking to cultivate a muscular Christianity, a muscular Christian faith, then I would be all in favour of the EU. Any other questions? And this will be the last one. Any other questions? Topic. <laughs> and in that case, about, one about, question. about consent and Christianity and Islam, right? So, um, is is there any kind of Christian kind of uh, doctrine or anything like that with regard to consent, age of consent? Like, age of consent. Yeah, age of age of consent in Christianity. Is there any kind of like written like scripture anything like that? Or is it just subjective? Yeah, I'll, I'll answer that question. It, it is, there is no given age of consent in the Christian faith. However, the Christian faith allows for human reason. It says in scripture, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Work it out. Use your head. And there is a place within the Christian worldview for just common sense and for other forms of learning that are not rooted in scripture, such as scientific knowledge. And so we know, ancients used to know, even before Christianity, that children at a certain age are too young. And in the fifth century, the Christians recognized 12 was too young and raised it, okay? Within the, the Christian worldview, it's not given. There are many things not given. And it is a fallacy to think that everything must be given clearly in scripture. The scriptures give us the rubrics, the paradigm, the meta-narrative, the skeletal structure by which to organize our lives. And then we put on the meat. And we put on the meat based upon the best knowledge of the time. So today, it is an established biological fact that nine-year-olds, even if they have a medical condition, which means that they start to bleed, are not able to give birth. They are not able to bear children. It exacts too much upon their life. We know that. So we don't need someone to spell it out for us. We just need to practice the principle of love. And the principle of love means that I want the best health for you and your daughter. And you should want the best health for me and my daughter. So what is established as producing the best health is what guides our practice about the age of consent. And that is a completely Christian worldview, a completely Christian way of thinking. It is why the church can develop teaching in according, accordance to the challenges of the time. But by contrast, as we saw live in front of us, the moment you quote the hadiths, the Sunni Muslim conscience suddenly becomes fuzzy and common sense gets thrown out of the way and all of a sudden, I don't know is the answer to the obvious question, is a nine-year-old ready to have sex? I have two sisters. I would lay my life down for them. I know at nine years old, they were not ready to have sex. The idea that this man who had a direct line to God, who supposedly had miracles of knowledge in the Quran, all of which are rubbish, by the way, didn't know that a nine-year-old was not ready to have sex, clearly proves 
he was not a prophet or an example to follow. The fact that Muslims hold him up as the best example demonstrates he is that their whole religion is based on rubbish. As Christians, we have a better example in Christ and the saints and the prophets. And the Pope. If he's made a saint. <laughs> Next question. I did say that was the last, but we got more people. Why haven't the, why haven't the church uh, condemned paedophilia and some of the rape that the uh, uh, priests have done in the name of the church? Okay, so he asks the question. He asks the question. Why hasn't the Pope condemned paedophilia and the rapes that have happened within the institution of the church? He's clearly an ignorant man who just asks a rhetorical question based upon absolutely zero study of the topic because quite at the moment the Pope is doing a tour well every country he goes to he does a mea culpa for the sexual abuse scandal I have never stood here nor have you heard any Christian stand here and, ab and defend the sexual abuse scandal rocking our institutions at the moment we Try mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. We fail to protect those children and we are reforming our institutions to protect them now. By contrast, how many times have we heard the Dawa team try to legitimize marrying nine-year-old girls? That's the difference between myself and my community and the community that this man belongs to. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Do you agree? You're wrong. Oh, let me, all right, so let me ask you a question. But let me ask you a question. Mohammed. I'm not part of no community. Okay, are you not a Muslim? No, I'm not. I apologize okay. then. I apologize. No problem. I'm sorry. My bad. I jumped to a conclusion. You're quite right. Okay, any other questions? Or are we all done? Do you hate Muslims? No. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> That was easy. <laughs> Next question. Why do you think Islam is a false religion? Well, I have just railed against it for 20 minutes. I hope <laughs> maybe you weren't listening. <laughs> it seems okay. very interesting. So, why as a Christian do I believe that Islam is a false religion? It is because I build my worldview on what the apostles and the prophets teach. And the apostles teach clearly that if any man even one of us or an angel of light should preach to you another gospel apart from this they are accursed so from a christian perspective islam denies the crucifixion of christ it denies the resurrection it denies his divinity it denies the worship of the one true god father son and holy spirit Muslims and Islam preach another religion. Muhammad is accursed. The angel that spoke to him is accursed. I don't deny he had a supernatural experience. I'm willing to accept that he did. But it was an angel of darkness masquerading as an angel of light who established a forces of darkness to oppose the gospel and the church. That's why I believe they're a false religion. Next question. Isn't the point is whether you live a good life, you're acting as a good human being to fellow people, and not what is the structure of the universe in your mind. And even when you come to another person, Buddhist, Muslim, whatever, not judge him by his religion. But by judging, judging by his belief of how to treat others, that is the question. Okay, so I'll respond to that. I'll respond to that. This is the same kind of soy boy, Namby Pamby, liberal po political bullshit and bollocks we hear from the political establishment all the time. They say that all religions teach the same and all religions practice the same. I studied religion for a degree. I have a degree in it. And I am telling you, as a student of religion, that political narrative 
is a myth. It is a lie. It is a lie being pushed upon us by the internationalist elites because it serves them, not because it is rooted in fact or truth. Now, let me be clear. Within a Christian worldview, we make a distinction between the sinner and the sin. And we as Christians believe in loving the sinner whilst hating the sin, which means that I don't hate Muslims. In fact, I've dated Muslims. I've loved Muslims. I've befriended Muslims. I've witnessed to Muslims. I've got no problem with Muslims. I have a problem with Islamists. I have a problem with Muslims who persecute Christians. And I also have 14 hundred years of Christian history that contradicts every bit of gibberish and nonsense and rubbish that that man has just said. Because for 1400 years, 1400 years, everywhere, every single place where Islam has dominated, the church has been persecuted. That is my history as a Christian and it informs my critique of Islam. I critique the book and what the book teaches. And the book teaches a supremacist ideology in which Christians are made second class to Muslims. By contrast, the Christian faith teaches that every person irrespective of their religion is made in the image of God and it is that image that gives you your dignity not your religion which means that a Muslim even though they are in error even though the Islamists amongst them are committed ideologically to injustice are still equal in dignity to me, their opponent. I cannot diminish the dignity of any man because every man is made in the image of God. And that is the difference between our two religions. Islam would make me a dhimmi, a second class citizen, in which to just give one example according to Sharia law. If a Muslim kills a Muslim illegally, one of the punishments is that they have to pay blood money. The value of the blood money paid for killing a Muslim illegally is double. Did you all hear that? Double that that someone would have to pay if they killed a Christian illegally. It says it's a lie. Where did you get that from? I'll tell you where we got it from. Direct experience in Andalusia, Spain. When the Muslims occupied Spain. This is Speaker's Corner, everyone's on camera. Not not everyone's on camera. This is Speaker's Corner, we're going to put you on. I'll stand next to him, he's just filming me. So, so Speaker's Corner is about free expression. Right, you don't dominate Speaker's Corner, bro. I can put the bag on front of you, can't me. You don't, you don't. This is, this is the Dawah team. This is the conduct that we have to put up with. Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? This is, this is what we have to so angry? Why are you so angry? Right. Why are you so angry? You said it was a lie. No, we're going to put you on camera. So, who do you, who's we? I am. Are you part of some militia? I'm part of him. Yeah, so I, I'm not part of you, okay? So put the camera off my face. No, no, no. This is the biggest no, corner. This is what we have to put no, no, in. They believe that they can dominate. But the speaker's corner is also part of the speaker's corner. There it is. Notice the behavior. This is their deal. Why are you shouting? Why are you pointing fingers at me? So, now notice. Why are you shouting? If you had a society angry, governed by people like him, do you not think? Do you not think? Better than people like you. Do you not think that this behavior would be reflected if people like him dominate? That is what happened. Produce him by ten thousand, and you have a problem. 
<laughs> it's right here in front of you, oh, right. and the Liberals okay. tell you it doesn't oh, what, exist. What was the Liberals? Are you a Liberal? Do I sound like I, a Liberal? No, you don't. <laughs> there we go. You sound like a terrorist to me. I sound yeah. like a terrorist. <laughs> so why am I a terrorist? Apparently, in the mind of the Dawa team, yeah. putting them on camera yeah. is equal to blowing up children in stadiums. <laughs> That's their logic. <laughs> that is their logic. Yeah. They call oh, people God. terrorists oh, for filming oh, them. Come here, love, then. We'll hear yours. Come here. No, I'm just here to say what you do. Yeah, go on. Why, why are you blocking the camera? Oh, we'll, we'll just stand, we'll stand here. Stand here. Yeah, stand here. Put on thing. Go on. Yeah. Notice the behaviour. Notice the behaviour. So, let's just address her point. We've allowed her to speak. We have allowed her to speak. Allow us to respond. Allow us to respond. Allow us to respond. That is the mindset. If you criticise, if you stand up to bullies like we've just had, if we stand up to them, one second. If we stand up to the bullies, this is the response. You don't have the right to stand up for yourself. That is their attitude. If you criticise the book, they say you're winding them up. There are legitimate criticisms of Islam, and we have the right to make them. Andalusia, 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 Andalusia was a society dominated by Islam for 700 years in which my brothers and sisters were persecuted by their Muslim rulers. They were oppressed. They were tried as second-class citizens in which the life of a Christian was valued legally as being half that of a Muslim. That is the fact. That is the fact. Here's some other facts. Here's some other facts. More facts. That is my book. Keep your hands off. My book. Keep your hands off. Keep it what? Notice. He wants to tell me what to do. This is their supremacist logic. This is their supremacist logic. Some other facts. Some other facts. Some other facts. Christians were not allowed to do their processions in the streets of Andalusia because the Muslims did not want to hear Christian prayers. Christians were not allowed to ring our bells in Andalusia because the Muslims didn't want to hear our prayers. Christians started a big war in the history. The Second World War was the war of Christians could not marry Muslims if they were women. But Christian women could marry Muslim men. That's a fact. No, whenever he suits you. Christians could not have Muslims of slaves, though Muslims could have Christians of slaves. Christians had to have their entrances on the side streets and not the main streets. Christian buildings were not allowed to be higher than Muslim buildings. When Muslim, when Christians had to pay the zakat, they would go to pay the zakat. Notice they don't want to listen. Notice they don't want to listen. They want to criticize. They want to live in a romantic vision of Islam that is not informed by any history. We Christians experienced Islam for 1400 years. We have our own history. We have our own history. Did Muslims come and kidnap Christian children in Eastern Europe? No. Did they? Did they? Did they? Did they? Did they? Doesn't want to answer. Doesn't want to answer. Did Muslims kidnap Christian children? They didn't. He doesn't know. No, go and look up the janissary. He doesn't know the history. No, it's called church history. We have it. We have church history. 
We yeah. know what it meant to be dominated by Islam. And we don't need to be lectured by apologists and ignorant soy boy liberals. I don't need to be lectured by ignorant soy boy liberals. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what did the Muslims do to the Christians in Eastern Europe? I don't know. You don't know. What did? Well, hold on, hold on. What did the Chris? What did the Muslims do to the Christians in Spain? I don't know. I don't know. What did the Christians do? What did the Muslims do to the Christians in Egypt? I don't know. I know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know what the Christians do to my people. He said. But he said. But he said that. Muslims and Islam is all about love and peace and joy. No, and I didn't say that. It is not. You, a fact. I didn't say that. You don't listen you and you're lying. Yeah, I was mean. talking about Christianity that that did 80% of the holy bird thing in the world. Second World War, Christian. First no. World War, no. Christian. No. The war in Iraq, Christian. No. Nationalism. Hey, not Christianity. Christian people. Were they fighting for Christianity? Donald Trump. For their countries. He's Christian. These are all Christian. The These were they are fighting for the church? Or were people. they fighting for their nation where states? Answer Christian the people. question. They were fighting for the country. It doesn't want to answer the question. They were Christian people. I am people. sure that the rest of you yeah. are yeah. smart yeah. enough yeah. to know what motivated people to fight in World War I and World War II? They were fighting for their nation states, not for the church. So his, his but the characterization but the of history Christian is ignorant. People. The word Christian is ignorant. They were Christian people, religious Christian people. Yes, of wait, wait, wait. Wait. Ah! Right, bro. He wants to ask a question. What I w the question that I would like to, to, uh, to is, is not exactly a question, but it's, it's, it's to clarify, everybody, every religion, no exception, has been oppressive to the other. Yes, yes. All, absolutely. We, we all done it. Agreed. You can't say that only the Muslims done it. You can't say only the Agreed. Christians done it. Agreed. You can't say only whatever, whatever, whatever done it. Agreed. We all done it. Yeah. So what we need to do now, we need to remind of each other of the original message that our father gave to Moses on the Mount of Sinai. And that is the Ahavta Dere'echa Kamocha that is being translated into Greek and afterwards being translated into Latin and being translated into English. Love our father, love yourself, and love your neighbor like yourself. Yeah. I agree with him. No, it is not. absolutely right that every religion... Notice this guy thinks he's a mind reader. Yes, he yeah, lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. So, I agree with him that every single religious community, every religious community has carried out acts of oppression, including the church. I'm not denying that. But when the church has carried out acts of oppression, it has done so in a way that contradicts its faith and contradicts its teaching. But I find the oppression that my people, the church, have experienced under Islam in the book. So it is one thing to criticize the people and another thing to criticize the teaching of the religion. The Quran teaches dimitude for Jews and Christians. And as a Jew, I'm guessing you're a Jew. Israelite. Israelite. As an Israelite. You know in Jewish history that Muslims were treated as second class citizens just like Christians when Muslims ruled. Is that not true? Right. So it's because of the religion's teaching. So yes, all communities are equally guilty of yes. wronghood so we don't criticize the communities we look at the teaching in the Torah the teaching in the, 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 the New Testament the New Covenant and the teaching of the Quran and ask which one actually legitimizes this injustice the Quran does the Quran does okay so who has what church does that's what Christianity we got, a, we got a oh, soy another soy boy liberal go on what's the question uh, church, religion, there's no question, uh, religion, uh, Christian religion, has committed horrendous genocides, and without those genocides, there's no way the church would be uh, as rich, as powerful, and dominant 
The reason that you've got into the positions of power is by murder, theft of other uh, wealth of other countries, and creating enemies like Islam. It's finding enemies. Without that, there's no way the, uh, okay. the church Can will I be a problem. So let me address the point because he raises a fair point. It's actually historically accurate. Um, he says that the church wouldn't be in the position that it is today Christian without, or Catholic. With, without having fought. And he's right. I, I can't argue with history. The fact of the matter is that Christians did fight. Some of those fights were completely legitimate. Uh, no, Some of them no war were is not. Legitimate. No, I'm not passing. Only the leaders. Not, can I respond? Went, can no. I respond? Okay. Only the leaders. So I'm going to have to shout. Only the leaders. I'm going to have to shout the because the guy doesn't want to listen. The, the fact of the matter is they that he is right to say that Christians like have fought and that the church has benefited from those fights. For the rich I'm not going to deny history. It is a fact. Religion. Yeah, the Christians have done so. However, and that's what will happen some again. of those fights Iraq, were totally legitimate. The poor, they were defenses murder, of Christian rich, communities against aggression, history like many of the Crusades. No war However, ever some of those fights were illegitimate is the rape in the of sense mankind. that it was a, an aggressive form of conquest. Rich that was not legitimized right by any act of then defense. You end up and the truth is, that. as Christians, that we are that able to reflect upon our history in that such a way that well. we are able to distinguish between those fights that are just and those and fights anyone that are unjust. Genocide now, is the soy right. boy here, <laughs> anyone who wears a white puppy as opposed to a red one, there's been a fascist about a what puppy to wear. As Can you believe that? Red one. You're wearing the wrong so, puppy. Yes. Makes you wrong. He's wearing the wrong puppy. I didn't say your puppy he is was wearing wrong. the wrong puppy. A fascist so, is always a fascist. Notice, he's a fascist. What a fascist he dared to criticize me. Wrong. So he's I a never fascist. said his puppy was soy wrong. Soy boy culture. Do you know why he right. said my puppy was wrong? Soy boy culture. Because he's That's a fascist. Soy boy culture. I remember so, the British troops. So they had he to fight fascists. But the church just like made an he's enemy of his land. That's what he said. Of truth. This is the he's kind the of ignorant had <laughs> narrative that go. the liberal he soy boy lives by. It's just their a bread and butter. And that's what fascists have history. always done. Abuse, the fact of the matter violence, is, and Muslims you're wrong. attacked Christian territories to unprovoked that's what and without any cause. And this is what they invaded. It Christian land and tried to Our do so were murdered for over 1400 like years who without thought you were wrong any and the justification you are justified it was to not that the abuse. church made this an is enemy him. of his this is him. it was this the church now. Defended its own the against an aggressive power. <laughs> you have this murdered. clown. Many. This clown. Go. More <laughs> abuse. With his little smiley and more his abuse. puppy. He can't stop the abusing because what he can't do those is have a proper debate. His what he liberal can't narrative do is make a better world. No, he can't. He do said, I He's can't have a, a world proper debate. Where we all can live together. But when he made a point, do that. and I let him, but what he can I do. asked him, yes. what and he can I respond, do is abuse. and the fascist what here he can do. said, no, you what can't. He can do yeah. is it is a liberal mm. case. What he can do. A liberal it's progressive little. case. That's what he can do. Do as I say, and that's not as I do. That is the liberal fascist one. Of the anyone progressive who can speak here, anyone. do not have anything I didn't to say do he speak. with these vipers and, he took it upon and these himself white wolves. Say tombs. he can't speak. These wolves this is my in sheep's clothing. How dare you who speak? Who come to you saying that they he are ambassadors of peace? That's what he peace. always was. When oh, all they are oh, the far right is an apologist I didn't for say oppression. Apologist for abuse. Here. Oh, abu no, apologist. And for the persecution is that Christians have experienced and you, for 1400 years. Right. 
then you have, have nothing to do with these virtue signalling the worst hypocrites characteristics who say humanity. I want everyone and to get along right and we should all love exactly and understand one another exactly but if you say what they don't like you. they say I don't want to hear what you have to I say I never did that That's I never abused you do you all so remember you did that. when I so said you did do that. can I respond because you can't yeah, no. stop being what did he say no that's what he said. Yeah, yeah. So who's the fascist? Yeah. You're the fascist. Yeah. Oh, I I'm never the said fascist. you couldn't speak. No, no, did I? I never said. Did I? In front of the camera. Did I? We have it on yeah. camera. Yeah. Yeah, Go and watch the video. Yeah. Everyone heard you. We'll ask yeah. again. Speak up. I when I asked, you can speak. I respond to your point? But I never yeah. Did he you. not say no, but you, you took can't? The pleasure. Yeah. No, said no. Yeah. Everyone yeah. heard you. Yeah. To the yeah. pleasure. Everyone yeah. is yeah. correcting you. Yeah. But you can speak as much Everyone as you want. Everyone is correct. Yeah. I take that back. Then I take that back. Right. But, I but in the whole time that I was speaking, yeah. you didn't listen at all, did you? You didn't listen either. Because the liberal progressive doesn't want to listen but I never to any narrative and I never than their own. Yeah. And I never than abused their them. own. That's what fascists do. Soy boy, and that's what paper fascists skin do. Again, oh, more of We them. don't yeah. need these soy more boys. Yeah. Yes. They're the death of Europe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're what you yeah. need to do. The what are you last do? man. What are you going to do? Men. Sh tell them to shut up. And tell them to cast. Shout away, bro. Abuse them. I do this Is plenty. i got the lungs for it. Let's keep going. I think I have. Let's keep going. I'm the... Got so, more lungs than you do, mate. So, I've been here all day. Oh, you don't think I've been I have all day? You don't think so, I have them? So, uh, tell me, soy boy. Attack. Soy boy. Uh, tell me. Can I treat you like soy boy? What? Can I treat you like Tell a me. human being? What did the, has no what did the Muslims do to the Christians of Spain? You can't do that. Tell me. It's about abuse. Answer the question. You can't be the man you Answer are. the question. You can only be the man. Do you want to hear him answer my question? You can't be Here's the question, soy boy. What? What did the Muslims do to the my Christians of Spain? My name's Dust. Dust. Oh, yeah, you can even call me by Dust. Okay, so, call me by Dust. So, soy boy Dusk. So, tell me. You can't say the word Dust properly. Soy, here's the question. Are you going to say my name yet? Here's the question. Can you even say my name? What did the Muslims do Why to the Christians of Spain? Why should I ask the question? He doesn't want to answer the question. Do you want him to answer the question? Say my name. Notice the liberal does Can you not say want my to have a debate? I'll answer the question. Uh, okay, let's say my name. The okay. same. Does. Well done. Right. So the man is to achieve a very basic human interaction. So, the question. Well, now let's do the another question. basic human interaction. As, ask the question. So, tell us Can what. You give out as well? Tell us what the Muslims did to the Christians of Spain. Without war and hatred, both of those religions will never be as glorification as they are right now. They need each other. Without each other, they don't have an enemy. Without each the other, question. they don't have genocide. Don't have Without reply. each other, they don't exist. May I reply? If you don't have each other, being an enemy, if you don't have a minute, then you don't have anything. May I reply? But what you can't do is offer Answer the world the free help. Can I reply? What you can't do Can I is offer the world free education. Can I reply? What you can't do yeah. is offer a world okay. where science Notice dictates a the liberal progressive. Yeah. Wants That's us what you all to show human dignity, but he doesn't want actually here to a response. You're yeah. the noisy enough. Don't be so shy. Go. You see? Don't be embarrassed. Do you see you the virtue signalling hypocrisy? You're shouting. The virtue signalling hypocrisy. Did, were you intimidated by me shouting? The fact of the matter is, were you intimidated by me shouting? He did not answer the question, and he doesn't want to listen now. Without, he doesn't want to listen now. And you need an enemy. To grow as a human being. Hypocrisy. You need hate to grow as a human being. I did without not hear hate, an answer to my question. And nothing. And without the reason hate, why you will dust always be nothing. Did not answer no, the question. <laughs> Say my it's name because <laughs> it's only four letters. Can you not even the do liberal thing? Narrative. Four letters. It is dust. Does not dust. make and room. And he did it without abusing this for time as well. For historical knowledge. Well done. The they want right to rewrite, uh, revise history 
to make sure you based upon their policy. Don't abuse the people you're talking So he about. ignores That's no good. the 1400 years of persecution I don't that we anything. Christians what I actually have do suffered is under you Islam. Reason to describe Notice, he Not doesn't more hate. listen. He wants he more hate no in point that world. Has he shut up? He wants more hate. But he wants, he wants us to live as a hippie. And he wants more Notice violence. He says That's his he will not abuse future. people. My but he called me far right. That's not abuse, that's Did a you description. Hear that? Do you, Did think, you hear that? Do you think far right is a swear word? Is it a compliment? Is it a description? Is it a compliment? Is it a description? <laughs> when you call someone far right, are you saying it in a, a tree, nice way? A true. Oh, you're a good person. So you're not you're denying far right. Me. You're not denying me. Is that right. your logic? So you're not denying it. I'm a Christian. I'm not far right. So you're, I'm describing you as far right. There you go. Now, and you are the Christian. liberal, progressive, and Christianity. Use violence the liberal to justify their existence. The Christianity you should has be always able used to violence to justify its yourself. World. And, and not far right. Stereotype always do right. that. Others they offer violence but here he and is hate yeah, yeah, yeah. and abuse. I am and describing you as I far came right. here to describe a world. So the liberal everyone narrative free is everyone is everyone you free should not here. stereotype everyone people. Can get on with but each other okay without using violence to or abuse. Stereotype people. But he will use abuse and the virtue. And then when he, when actually someone does describe him, notice he's big at he how much abuse yeah, yeah, yeah. he's had right. than he said himself. I'll you? say it to you, you again. <laughs> how much abuse I that you have done yourself, a Christian? Well done. Listen, listen. I am you opposed, opposed like to the far right. Do you? Yes. No, you don't. You've been abusive. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Very Christian. Was a Christian really? unless I have to be a Show me, show me. Did the did, I am a Christian What's unless the I have to be abusive. Who defines best Christian be. conduct? And then I won't be a Christian. Who I'll defines it? I for one moment. Notice because he doesn't want you to can't answer. live. No, you can't even. I'll quote you can't even say my to my him name properly because Soy that. Boy that's doesn't that's know. That's no. That's more that's abuse. That's no more abuse. The oh, Christian behaviour. Boy here. This is a representation of the Christian like faith. Right. And this Christian but faith doesn't like wants to be a boy. This Christian faith That's his loves it. He virtues He doesn't glorify God. What he glorifies is abuse. What he glorifies is Christ himself. And what he will always glorify. He doesn't glorify. He doesn't glorify. Christ himself. He glorifies he doesn't go all the Pharisees all the way to Christianity. <laughs> Christ himself abuse. Told that is your choice and your happiness. The Pharisees, that's your glory. The Herodians is abuse and the priest temple is systems. violence. And As hatred because you're the wrong religion. Tomb. And hatred because if you are there the right religion, you're not the right religion in his eyes. That's what in he calling out. That's a what culture his idea of Christianity what is. is abuse. And this soy boy, this, this, this liberal this hypocrite, he doesn't know anything about me. Who says, don't abuse people, but I'll call you far right. Yes. Don't Why, stereotype don't people. Don't be embarrassed. But I will describe people. Be proud of it. There he goes again. Be proud about being a Christian. I am a Christian. Ah, and where'd you notice, get your law for? He's just created the equivalent between where'd Christian and far from? right. You get law. So you get now, law from your God, all of don't you? Christians he gets his law his mind from God. Are far right. And when he's God, this my brother here. Is he when far right? God says, is he far right? And when God says, genocide is the way. Hey, hey, hey. Is he far right? Far right? He's enough. Christian. I've Do you agree with me or him? I agree with you. Is I he far right? He's entitled to agree with me. Is he far right? <laughs> well, well, I, I need to listen to him. He agrees with me. I need he's to listen to him. He said he agrees with me. When I sit down, I listen to him. I agree with what you said. So is he far right now? What does far right mean to you? What the far right No, no, don't let him answer the question. Yeah, don't let him answer. Don't let him dare speak to him. Don't let him change the question. Don't let him dare have a debate. Don't let him dare have a debate. Did you hear what he said? Latino. Just listen to Wait, him. Wait one second. And I only listen to him. Just only listen to his Latino. And I only listen to him. Jesse is a Latino. But JC, do you agree with me? He brings yeah, yeah. brings up a Is he far right? But don't no, bring him to the debate. A Latino. Don't do that. Just listen to him. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening. So you've all been very wonderful. According to this guy, I hope you have a nice evening. A Latino. 
rest and of the enjoy African your conversation Christian. with this man here. Or both can now have one. And enjoy the rest He's of the day. Away. He's running 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 away. I wouldn't say don't that. Don't, 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 try yeah, don't let him speak. Don't, don't yes, dominate. that's right. Don't let him have Hold a debate. So I'm saying that's not the name. right way, is it? That's not the fastest way, is it? Make sure you're in debate. Extremist. Don't talk to him. That's what you said. Can you give me 60 seconds with him and then I'll give him... Yeah, learn from him. He's a good Christian. Give him a word and learn from him. He's a good Christian. He agrees with me. You call me far right. And him a good Christian. Are you even thinking? He said give him 60 seconds. Not even thinking yeah. what okay. Don't have so debate. You're That's what being he said. Far right. Right. Okay. So Without him speaking. All Christians are far right. No. So, oh, but you just changed your mind. No, you there you go. I said he's far right. Yourself. I might as well give you back to him because you just contradicted your no, words. Let him you speak. Let him speak. Right. What make what I have to go over him. Can you shut up for a second? Are you? He said. Right. He fine. said. Can you shut up for sixty seconds? Can, can you can't you? even listen? Can you? you said to me said to talk to this man. I'm trying to talk to this man. Right. You said it. Are again. you that you're fucking ridiculous? Yourself. So you accused oh, Christians of being far right. Oh oh. Abuse. Abuse. I want to Christians are far right. This is your own words. If you watch this video, you will actually come across. I think you've lost your words. You're trying to make a statement. What is your idea? Of being uh, far, what is far right in your mind? It's not me to give an idea, it's you to give an assumption to what, so what you were saying. I need a you base. said Christians are far right, and I'm saying I I'm said a Christian. Some Christians no, you can didn't. be far right. No, you oh, said I was far right. Yes, I said he was and far right. And then he said he agreed with me. Yeah, so he's far right. Far right. He's, he's far, far right. right. So is he far right? That's what I'm trying to do. If you could learn to a be A real far man right. would actually admit that you made a mistake yeah, with you your did. words. That's what you should be doing rather than digging your own. Religion. No, you're saying religion. Right. Own your one words. Of well, one of the, the basic Buddhist. rules of being far right, one of the basic oh, yeah. rules, yeah, rules is that <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's called yeah, definition. Anyone pass me the manual of oh, being far, far right. right. I've, I've, right. Misplaced right. My, I've misplaced my copy. What is a far right? Tell me the I was about to say right. So the way we define this world is by using uh, words, and then we describe the description of those words. Yeah, and the way you pigeonhole definition. One of the main facets of far right. One of the main de definitions is not using law or dis uh, agreed upon by men and women in a community. One of the first rules is using saying your God created law. Is that and far, right? far right? Far right is the first right. definition. Right. Yeah. Oh, by the yes. way, oh, no, you're no. far right. You're far, you're far right. right. In yeah. that definition, yeah. we use that. Everyone, we everyone's far right. right. Everyone is far right. This is really this amazing. This is a clown. Sorry, you're, yeah. you're actually... Yeah. Yeah. This guy's a clown. That, that, um, I yeah. think you mean if, if they don't give other people's right to practice their religion. And that, that as well. That as well. No, but but the law... Law must be agreed upon the right, community the <laughs> because different I agree, gods. I agree. Because different gods have different rules. Yeah. Far right. So who's God's more right? right. And war and genocide of all back. history. Right. So, not, so you're digging your grave bigger. You're, you're, you're digging your grave. I don't agree with that. It doesn't matter. You're happy to have that. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Religion has been used in many genocides and wars. That's what it always will. I agree. I agree. But that is far right. That is the definition of far right. There's war. There's wars. When you make your religion. You can you let no, someone else speak? Can you let someone else speak? Has anyone heard him shut up for a minute? Has anyone heard liberal virtue signaling hypocrisy? Can you let someone else speak? 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 Can
Well, Christians bombing Muslims doesn't really calculate, does it? Yes, it does. Right. The reason why Christians need to bomb Muslims right. is because right. Christianity so, right. grows stronger under a genocide of another culture. And that other culture, they can hate them right. back again. Notice he doesn't want to listen. As Asha speaking, right? so, now I'm listening. So, so what, what actually happened for everyone that was listening is because I was arguing ferocious, ferociously for the Christian faith, he came to the conclusion that I was far right. Yes, you That's are. Right. And he said it again. Now this brother, well this brother has been listening That's as well, and he That's agrees up. with everything I said. And so does JC, who's Latino. So by his logic, this is the clown, by his logic, clown. if I am say anything about abuse. No, 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 wait, 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 brother, wait, brother. Yeah, I'm going to stand and get abused. That's your idea of being a man, is it? Wait, brother. Being abusive. So you got a idea of religion and you got a funny idea of being a man. Because of my beliefs. Right, bruv, bruv, can, bruv. So by his logic, because I am far right, Yes, if Jakob right, agrees with it. me, Good. Jakob must also be far right, right. Yes. and so is JC. No, it doesn't make the Ah, oh, there you go. That's what you said. Christian That's exactly what you right. said. That's your word, sir. Yes. For yes. Jeremy How? Corbyn. Yes. Yes. Well, you're saying religion, but far right is a political spectrum. If, right, if you just yeah. got nothing to do with religion. hatred and murder of no, other people. No, we're not talking about hatred or murder. I Jesus did not preach That's that. What, yes, so but if you use your... Where did I? Where did I? That's this far right man. Where did I? And that's what he What did I say? What did I say? He was that's what Why are you lying? He was, Why he are does. you lying? That's what you do. No, you are Where did, you did anyone hear me advocate genocide or murder? No. You said exactly. there are justifiable wars. There are justifiable wars. That is genocide. That is there justifiable genocide. There are justifiable wars. There is no, no justifiable war. Was there genocide, genocide in the Falklands? Let me ask you a question. There you go. Which there is a war. All war. Yeah, exactly. All war. Murder. Wait, 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 wait. This is the no, logic no, of no, this. Pacifist. All war is Sorry. all. Now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not a pacifist. I can't keep correcting this guy. Thank you for calling me another name. I can't keep. I can't keep. Correcting this guy. We know Sorry, so I'm, I'm, I'm shouting out. I'm, I'm going to walk away from this fellow. Anyone who by the done by the fanatic. Yeah, only the working class. Anyone who disagrees with this extremist is a far right, according to him. How many so he goes around saying, "Don't be pejorative," but he is pejorative himself.